Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for joining me on another video. Today's video is going to be about Lightroom 5's beta version. Now, if you're moving from four up to five, well, five's not really ready yet, so this is just a beta version. But if you plan to move from four to five, there's not a whole lot of differences. However, there are some key differences that I'm going to show you. So if you guys wanna check out this software, download it for yourself and give it a test run and give uh, Lightroom your feedback, then go ahead and go right here to this website. It is labs.adobe.com slash technology slash Lightroom 5. I will leave a link in the description bar for you guys to click on and check out. It gives you all the great stuff about it and also here downloading it for Windows or Mac. All right, on with the show. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, the brushes as this is going to be um, my favorite part. This is where Lightroom 5 for me has made the biggest leaps and allows uh, more creativity uh, within Lightroom without having to jump over to Photoshop. So let's go ahead, jump in here. Let's take a look at some of the new tools that are available. Actually really tool, two tools that are really awesome to have and that is the spot healing tool which is right here and also we have the new tool which is a radial filter so pretty much uh, two tools that help you stay within Lightroom without having to go to Photoshop to remove you know wrinkles or lines objects and pictures that you would otherwise need to go to Photoshop for so in this case, we're gonna use both of them. All right, so let's jump into the first tool, which is right now my favorite one, which is right here, the spot removal tool. So let's go ahead and click on that. Pretty much looks the same as what it did in the past. Uh, the only difference now, this exact same tool can be used for two different things. One, obviously, to remove uh, blemishes. So as you can see, bam, we took away a blemish. Now let's jump a little closer here and let's see what else we can do with this tool. Bam, that's really close. Okay, so let's move over here. Let's choose one of these wrinkles here. So what the new brush tool allows you to do is to paint. Yes, folks, paint. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take away that ugly wrinkle right there. I hope he's not watching this. And ta-da, it is gone. Now, as in... The previous versions of Lightroom, if you hit H, it'll show you where it basically healed from or copied from. Then you can move this around however you want. Uh, if you want to, you know, be a little more specific about it, um, and make sure it matches. Of course, you might want to do that, but that you got the idea. It's pretty cool. You know, let's, uh, for the sake of demonstration, let's go ahead and do another one. Let's take out this slight little eye wrinkle right there bam shun looks good so again you can shave off a few years of anybody in Lightroom now so again if you guys um, I've been wanting a tool like this I have because it drives me nuts to make a thousand circles just to cover up one line and I'm sure most of you know exactly what I'm talking about so let me go ahead and show you how this thing quickly works on a bigger scale and creating shapes so you don't have to create linear shapes so you can pretty much mask any shape you want and oh this is gonna look creepy I already feel it in my bones let's see what that looks like oh no oh man there we go so it doesn't always accurately grab from the right spot but uh, you get the idea you know so you can move that around again hitting the H button on your keyboard, I believe it's the same on a PC. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the other tool. But before we do, let's go ahead and erase all of these just because I don't want to slow down my computer right now. Um, here's a cool little trick um, with Lightroom 5. If you hold down the Option key, you see a little scissor icon there. Uh, what you can do from that point on, click and drag anywhere where you see these brush layers or tools. Bam, deletes it all in one shot. That's a pretty cool little tool. So there you go. And let's go ahead and move over to the radial filter. This is probably one of my favorite ones here. Right now, I already have the filter applied to this image. Uh, if we click there, you can see where the actual mask is. Now, over to your right, 
whatever you apply to this radio filter will be the same in your brushes. So keep that in mind. You might want to change your settings with that if you want to add a new one. Make sure if you're going to do something different, you hit this new button before you move over to a new brush or even a new radio filter. Let's go ahead and check this out. Click there. And as you can see, you can adjust the exposure of what's on the outside of the radio filter. So anything you do here will affect the outside of the image. Um, saturation, clarity, shadows, all these filters. So let's go ahead and move everything back to normal. Also, if you do want to affect the inside of the mask, then if you go ahead and click right here where it says invert mask, check that and it'll change everything on the inside of it. You could also change the feather strength. So if you want more of a kind of harsh edge, you can do that as well. Or you crease this to make more of a feathered edge, whatever you like. But these tools are there to assist your creativity. So, uh, that's pretty much it. And just uh, make sure you go ahead and check out my good friend here on his website, uh, philipobondo.com. Go, I'll leave links in the description bar below. He is my partner in crime. He's a Photoshop master. I will have him on the show to do a couple of more um, video tutorials on Photoshop. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm always posting there as well. I would love to hear from you. Any suggestions you have, go ahead and email me at this email address I specifically made for you, ashshawn at ktechla.com. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Peace.